hello welcome to part 27 of laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel then we will start working on one of the laravel website so this admin panel we are making uh, this admin panel can be used for any website like e-commerce dating uh, education related so any website if you are making you require this basic admin panel so we are working on roles and permission uh, for our laravel 10 admin panel and uh, in the last few videos we have seen that we able to uh, create the uh, see table is already there admins table we able to uh, create the entries into the admins table uh, to uh, see sub admin uh, we able to add in the admins table with the help of cedar uh, in fact we have added two sub admins uh, in the last video and one of the sub admin we have removed uh, to test the delete functionality okay so we have also uh, shown these sub admins in admin panel with the delete functionality as well as the active inactive status we can make them active and we can make them inactive you can see it instantly updates uh, to inactive status uh, via ajax okay so now we are going to work on the add edit sub admin functionality so we will start with the add sub admin functionality and we will uh, create its uh, page add edit sub admin page in which we will add the add edit sub admin form it, it will work in the same way like we have done with the cms pages okay uh, in the same way like we have added there we can click on add cms page then it is opening like this so in the same way we are going to add here the add sub admin page as well right now we does not have any route for it and would does not have any page so we are going to first create its page okay so uh, in that page we are going to add the fields uh, some admin fields like uh, we are going to add the name mobile email password type is always sub admin because we will add only the sub admin types okay admin is just one we can also say admin or super admin it's, it's just one but sub admin can be multiple uh, that added by the admin okay so these main fields we are going to add uh, we can check these fields also in the here okay so uh, these are the fields uh, name mobile photo uh, see photo as well uh, name mobile photo as well as the email address we will add the email address as well uh, see email address uh, we want uh, can't be update but in the add we are going to add this email address as well so let's start uh, more things will clear once we will start working on this feature okay so after that we will work on uh, its roles and permission table we are going to create the roles table uh, so that thing is we are going to work on that thing later on but first we need to add the sub admin from admin panel like we have added uh, it from cedar earlier on now we are going to add its feature from admin panel okay so let's start uh, so first thing is we are going to create its route okay in web.php file we are going to create the add edit route in the same way like we have added here so to save time i will just copy this one and we'll paste it here okay we have all, all, all already we have done cms page functionality so it will always help us okay so add edit sub admin here it will come add edit sub admin and we are going to add this in admin controller and here uh, we can make it like uh, add edit sub admin like this okay add edit sub admin like this we are going to create its function add edit sub admin in admin controller uh, check once everything is fine okay so uh, we will open this admin controller and here we are going to uh, add its function same like we have added the cms controller earlier so uh, see we are going to add uh, the function like this one okay it will help us to uh to many things are same so we can copy the complete function here uh, okay so otherwise if you want to create from scratch you we can create from scratch as well okay uh, so let's okay let's create from scratch we are going to create this function from scratch okay uh, so uh, first thing is uh, we will public function uh, uh public function add edit sub admin and here uh, request dollar request dollar id as null okay 
because both add and edit will work with the one function uh, see i want to tell you like uh, uh, if you want to add the subadmin then the url will be like something like uh, if we click on here like it will be add edit subadmin add hyphen edit hyphen subadmin and if we want to edit then it will be then we will send the subadmin id as well it, it, it works in the same way like we have done here like edit, edit cms page to add the new page if you want to edit the page you will uh, when you will click here then the its id will also go so it will work in the same way okay so here we are going to add if dollar id equal to equal to empty then dollar title add sub admin dollar uh, we will add here sub admin data okay uh, here we are going to add new admin okay as we are going to add this in admin table so in in the case see we are talking about the case when uh, we want to add the sub admin okay so once we will add the sub admin here id is null sir id is empty here okay so in that case uh, we require such things dollar message here sub admin adder successfully okay so in the case of audit now we are talking about in a case of audit okay i will copy this one and here audit sub admin and here uh, we will use the find because now, now we are having the sub admin id by which we are going to find the details of that sub admin that we want to update okay so here sub admin update successfully fine okay so now see we will keep it like this for now uh, post method uh, when whenever we will get the data we will work on the post method but right now we will first create the sub admin form okay return view admin under admin uh, the, the sub admin folder under sub admin folder we are going to create one file add edit sub admin like this and in this file uh, we are going to send the uh, sub admin details as well in the case of edit we are going to send the title we will send in both cases and sub admin data uh, we will send in the case of edit if it is edit we are going to send the details in the sub admin data as well of that particular sub admin that we want to update okay so now we are going to create this add edit sub admin page okay so we will go in our folder this is our folder uh, resources views admin and here is the sub admins page and in this page we are going to add the sub admin uh, so uh, that uh, file add edit sub admin so in mac we need to create the file like this touch command in mac enables us to add the file in the folder but if you are in windows you know how to create the file okay here we are going to create it like this add edit sub admin dot blade dot php okay so file will get created here you can see add edit sub admin dot blade dot php okay so this file we are going to use here add edit sub admin like this and we are going to copy from its admin design complete uh, page we are going to copy and then we'll make change it will save a lot of our time earlier on it takes too much time when we will copy the its design from our template for our uh, from our lte template okay so here you can see uh, here we are going to make changes title uh, okay so here instead of cms form uh, we are going to mention here a uh, sub admin form okay so here we will add here sub admin form and here as well uh, in uh, here we are going to add here add edit sub admin okay uh, so here we are going to add the sub admin fields okay uh, like we are going to add here uh, these few fields name mobile email okay so first we will take the name uh, we are going to update uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to select this one so that only 
case sensitive we able to pick name like this and here we are going to update name here as well name okay so after updating the name uh, so here we will also update this uh, CMS page uh, here also everywhere here we are going to update this one uh, to sub admin uh, we are uh, passing the sub admin uh, sub admin data in fact okay so uh, we are going to undo this one sub admin data yeah or we can uh, do like sub admin data like this okay everywhere we will put it like this sub admin data okay so now see name enter here uh, instead of page name we will add here the enter sub admin name or simply we can add the enter name okay name of the sub admin it is understood name name okay fine and also if in case uh, if the admin is updating the sub admin and uh, in case there is one of the issue comes in the form then we want to preserve the earlier entries that he filled okay then we can also show those earlier entries uh, like with the old uh, so we can do one more thing here uh, else we can show here the old data as well if uh, uh, the uh, admin fills any old data so we can show it as well like uh, here uh, we can show the earlier data this one uh, this name old name it will work like this okay so that the earlier data must come in case uh, if the uh, if the uh, if it comes okay uh, but i think it is not required here because uh, otherwise the earlier entry can come okay don't make it too much complex we can uh, work it like this okay right now uh, so now after updating name uh, we will add the mobile okay i will update it to mobile and here as well enter mobile okay after mobile uh, we will add the email and email only uh, email uh, will be read only in case of edit but in case of add we will uh, we will not add the read only okay so what we are going to do uh, see description we are going to remove it is not required okay here uh, okay so here we are going to make it like email enter email uh, here as well we are going to make it email like this and here we are going to add one check here uh, like uh, uh, input uh, here we are going to add one disabled uh, if the ID is not empty okay at the rate of if dollar sub admin sub admin data ID if in case is not equal to empty then we are going to add it disabled else we will add here required okay it is required and if <coughs> okay so type is email we are going to make it email type and everything else seems to be fine here okay so uh, now other than this password is required so we are going to add the password in both add and edit sub admin and because the password can be updated anytime here as well we will add the password enter password okay so the image as well okay 
so here we are going to add the image or we can say the photo so for the photo field i am going to open the page uh, that we are earlier having resources views admin uh, this update details and i'm going to copy this photo complete photo i'm going to copy and will paste here okay see here okay we are already having a photo so here uh, we will update if required uh, here we will uh, just keep here image okay only image okay and here uh, see we will not take this one instead of this one uh, here we are going to take a dollar sub admin data uh, image like this okay rest uh, everything uh, we will keep same okay uh, so our form is ready we are going to check our form let's see refresh here see add edit sub admin form is ready okay you can see a name mobile email password okay one thing more we want to do like we want to see that uh, these fields are too much long okay we can uh, make it half half uh, and for this uh, we can add one class bootstrap class and that is uh, uh, we can add for even cms pages as well if you want call uh, some call uh, we're going to a call b6 okay and this will reduce the field length okay like this so uh, we will also check like it uh, looks fine in responsive we will take care for the responsive admin panel this will is going to be responsive admin panel see here name it seems to be fine okay so we will keep it like this okay this one otherwise it is too long that is not required so we will add this in all after form group we can add for all the fields okay so now we are going to see see it looks fine now okay and for this one as well it will uh, somewhat uh, i think will make uh, some adjustment uh, it is too left it will uh, i think yeah now it is fine okay we have added for all so now we have added all fields name mobile email password e image photo okay so now we will work on uh, its function here uh, the values will come up here and in post method okay once we will try to update and then it will come here in the post met method if dollar request is method post is method post here first we will debug this one that all the data is coming correctly dollar request all like this and then we are going to so we are going to check first of all that all the data is coming correctly or not amit gupta like this one don't worry it will not happen like this at your end it is happening due to the plugin that i have added this plugin so that's why it is coming like this okay so i need to see it like this amit gupta it is fine mobile okay so now i'm going to add one of the email any email okay and password one two three four five six then i will uh, select uh, one image here but uh, we can make the password as password as well okay uh, so that we will do later on here i am going to add one of the image then click on submit and we'll see all data is coming here name mobile email password and image okay so everything is coming here uh, fine so one thing we will do here uh, we will make the type uh, here password password we will make the type as password and also uh, for adding the image uh, we need to add that enc type data here here we are going to add that uh, we will check this update details form and here also we must have added that 
this one multi part form data that we need to add here in add edits uh, form okay here we will add it like this we will refresh once we will go back and refresh once okay now it must come in you can see it is coming like password form okay so it is working fine once again uh, we will add the form here any email id we can add here with password and we'll choose the photo as well okay so here i'm going to add that photo as well that we have added earlier click on submit see here now it is coming in uh, that uh, because we have added that enc type so that's why it is coming like this complete image data is coming here that we are going to use okay so we will uh, submit this data in the next video we are going to store uh, the new sub admin details in this admins table and then we will update it as well so please stay, into, uh, stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time